Welcome back to the second part of building a simple note-taking app using Django 3. So far we built a simple site where we have listed all the documents here and we have the editor here on the right. Now it's time to make it possible to add the document and to save documents. First I'm going to go into Visual Studio Code and inside the views I want to get the document using doc ID if there is a doc. So then the first thing I do is to check if doc ID is greater than zero because then I know it's not the default new document I'm on. So I say document equals document.object.get pk equals doc ID like that and else document can just be empty like that. And then I can add it to the list here and save. So if I go in here now, you will see that this is checking if the document is there. So if I save now, click this, you will see that you get the title and the content. So it's perfect. The next thing will be to get the data when we submit the form. I will do that on top here. I will say if a request dot method equals post. And if it is, I want to get the doc ID from request dot post dot get doc ID. Like that. I want to get the title. And I want to get the content request post get content. This can be empty. And here I also want to check if the document ID is greater than zero because if it is, I just want to change the document. Change document else new document like that. So here I want to get the document based on that ID and I say document.title equals title, document.content equals content, document.save. And when it's saved, I want to return the user, return, redirect. ID equals percentage I doc ID like that. Below here I want to create a document instead. Document.object.create title equals title content equals content. And here I just want to redirect the user to the same page but I want to use the ID for there, oops, there, document.id. So now I can try to change. Okay, did something wrong. Yes, I probably should convert this to integer. Redirect, forgot to import it. This is a shortcut, so I can just do that. As you can see now, it was changed to, to this name instead. So if I click here, this should be empty, new document. So now we get new documents also here. Perfect. I want to also make it possible to delete documents. So I need to create one more view. Below here, I say def delete document request and I want the doc ID here. I can just copy this. So I get the document based on the ID. 
document.delete and then I redirect the user to an empty front page. Copy that, just say zero. Then we can import this view to the URLs path delete document. And here I want to integer, and that should be doc ID. Pass in the view name delete document. The button for this I want to place next to this one. So I say is grouped and add a new button here plus control button. I want this to be a link so I don't have to think about the form URL delete document and then I say document.id plus button is danger so it's red delete but I don't want to show this if I'm not no if I don't have a document so over the control I can copy the if document statement and if if I now refresh I have a delete button and if I click it the document was deleted perfect one more thing I want to do is to add a created it and modified timestamp to the documents so if I go back to models.py and add two more fields here one created at equals models dot date time field I want this to be added automatically so I can say oh oh I say I do now add equals true modified at models dot date time field auto now equals true so this will be automatically added when we add a document and this will be automatically filled every time we save a field now save a document so I can go back to here and stop the server run make migrations again I need to provide a default value this will just be time zone now and then migrate perfect so then we can run the server again and I want to show this here bit after the title label so I can scroll up here to a new line if document and if span class has text gray light this is a bulma class created at document dot created at I want to format the date so I say pipe date colon m slash dy and I can copy this oops modified at and modified at and save it refresh so nothing sees there because this is a new document. If I click there, I will get that I created it on July 29 and it was modified at July 29. And that was it. So now we have a simple note taking app we have built using Django 3. There are multiple things you can do to extend this. And if you build something cool, please tell me in the comment section below. I will post a link to a GitHub repository where you can find all the code for this project so you can compare the code. Hope you liked the video and if you did please click like below and share the videos with other people. Okay, see you next time.